What's going on, YouTube? It's One Not Supreme again, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. So, just want to give a heads up. This is my final video until the start of IAE. Um, tomorrow, or actually in about three hours, God of War Ragnarok comes out, and I'm going to be diving deep and taking a break from Star Citizen. Uh, and going to play that and just have, just recoup and um do my thing you know just play video games chill in bed and just uh enjoy god of war um i know some of you asked me to do a let's play on it unfortunately i do not have a capture card on hand um otherwise i would have trust me i i wouldn't i would love to uh, but i do not have a capture card on hand and with there uh, not being any pc port uh right away um i have it on my ps5 and since I had no capture card, I can't really... It, I mean, I could. It's just the, the quality would be potato. And I don't want that. So I'm going to draw it myself. But when I do get a capture card, which I will be getting one soon, I will be doing a Let's Play on it. On the Give Me God of War difficulty. So that would be a lot of fun. Um, when I come back, we'll be starting off with IAE. Kicking off just full pistons. Um, first video will be out the day after IAE starts. So the Drake video will be out on Origin Day. And uh, we'll commence from there. So this is the Drake Cutlass Blue. It's kind of funny. The last F8 Lightning video I did, I put a Cutty Blue video out right after it. And I just did another F8 Lightning video. And I'm recording a Cuddy Blue video right after it. That's weird. Just going to point that out. But this is in the showcase on the Cuddy Blue. This is a loadout on the Cuddy Blue. You remember how I mentioned those Redeemer missile racks? And I threw them on a Harbinger. And I threw them on a Saber. Um, the Harbinger can have four of those on the saber can have two of those on the cutlass series not, so it's not just the cutty blue this is just the cutlass i have but the cutlass series can hold six so i took the missile racks off of the harbinger i took the missile racks off of the saber because I'm not going to buy another redeemer. I have three of them already. <laughs> um, and I threw them on here. Now to really make a cutlass, a missile boat, you normally throw on, I don't remember the missile racks, but it can hold 48 size ones with the redeemer missile racks. That can go on this because it can take 442 missile racks instead of 48 size ones. I have 48 size twos on a cutlass. On a cutlass. What? So, with that being said. This thing is an absolute monster. I tried it out on one VHRT already, and holy cow. Can I... Am I able to really outmaneuver things? Hell no. Hell no. So you know what I do? I pass them. Start backstrafing. Block missiles. Actually, no, I, I, that's that's in combat. And out of, like, in first engaging, block missiles, launch finish off the first guy with my guns after that i pass them whip around back strafe missiles guns it's literally rinse and repeat it it was crazy i didn't go up against a valkyrie it was a hurricane and two wardens i believe no it was a, a hurricane a warden and a buccaneer that i just completely obliterated in this thing um so with the loadout on this, since I'm focusing on missiles, I also went with a another aesthetically pleasing kind of loadout, I guess. Like I did with the Super Hornet. 
since this thing is cherries and berries, I made my con my guns cherries and berries. Yes. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of yes. So we're gonna take her out on a couple of VHRTs. I still have to do my my group cert. And as of right now, I'm kind of not really in the mood to. Uh, just because just doing single ones, it's not that big of a deal. But we're going to take it out on a couple of VHRTs. Um, yeah, so let's take out the Cuddy on some VHRTs. And uh, show you guys how nasty this thing really can be. I just realized I forgot to mention. Uh, my guns on this thing are size 2s. They are not size 3s. They are all gimbaled size 2s. Because sense of the lack of mobility and agility of the Cuddy, gimbals will really work in my favor. Um, I'm running a two NDB twenty eights. Yes, NBD twenty eights underneath, and I'm running two badgers up top. Um, components wise, FR sixty six for the shield. I'm using Avalanche coolers, uh, JS400 power plants, and an XL1 quantum drive. So, let's fly over to this bounty. So, obviously, since I'm running gimbals, I'm going to be using gimbals. Alright. Let's not go crazy fast. I ha I have a ten I have a tendency to smack an asteroids while flying a cutty for some reason. So we're gonna go a little bit more a little bit more than that. There we go. I'm gonna prep our missiles. I'll go all four. Since I have an abundance of them, I don't need to really be I don't need to be all that picky. But I was genuinely surprised. I was thinking, man, I could throw 48 size 2 missiles on a cutlass? Is that even going to be worth it? Ah, screw it. I'm going to try it. It's worth it. <laughs> it, it. It's worth it. It really is. When I when I did my practice run with this thing, just to see if it really would be worthwhile doing, I was like, I just wiped the floor with a VHRT and a cutlass. What? Alright, let's slow that down here a little bit. Anvil Hurricane. Cutlass Black. Oh, well, we... Now we're going to that. Can we get about three and a half K? We will... Launch missiles. Switch to gimbals. Son of a bitch. All right, now we back straight. No, not like that. Hold on. I can't have the speed lever around with how fragile this thing is. I got to keep moving as best as possible. That cutty's already dead in the water. And finish it off the guns. Splash. Get away from that. Drake Buccaneer. Eat this. 
I know I'm playing a little excessively, but right now... Ooh, I think those... Oh, no, nope, they're coming back on them, I think. No, nope, okay. We're only going to go down to two here. Ooh. Fucking ears going to be annoying, aren't you? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Still a little difficult to get smaller ships like this. That was dumb. being a prick. Alright, right, there we go. My powder shields to skate here a little bit. Because they're too damn fast. Splash. Oh boy. Now we just go take on the hurricane. Looks like the AI kind of dummied out. see that yeah he wasn't kind of moving i don't think he even countermeasured towards my missiles but like that was fast especially on a hurricane the the buccaneer got a little squirrely on me with with how much of a like a brick this thing flies uh it gave me a little bit of trouble but it's uh it handled that hurricane pretty well even though like i said the ai yeah, kind of dummied out we're gonna grab another one and uh see how that goes all right our second bounty tell you one thing though the cutty does sound beefy especially with them big ass engines well she does not handle particularly well and she's fragile I also went to uh, rearm my missiles. I've been noticing um, I'm actually having more luck rearming and stuff on like like uh, planet side locations. 
like our core mining area for example than anything else three valkyries that should be interesting Turn this off. What, what did I do? I, I'm missile locking you. Shield back up. here a little bit. Really use these to... Okay. Really use these ex missiles to my advantage. I made a cutty dangerous. I made a cutty dangerous. Is it gonna excel in PvP? Hell no. I mean, you got enough missiles where, like, you might actually be able to get them low on flares, depending on the player. But if they're anything, if they're in anything that's not a cutty or bigger. They're gonna dance circles around you. But for PvE, this thing is odd. Monster now. An absolute monster. Another one. Alright, now that I have group bounties, I'm recording this a few days after the first initial couple bounties. Um, I just got tired and I just was like, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed. Good thing I had a couple of videos pre-recorded to still put out. But I just, I was like, oh god, I'm tired. <laughs> so, but for some reason, after loading into the PTU and then going back into live, I have my certs. They're like my, uh, my, my group bounty certs. So I grabbed a group of EHRT and see if we can do this thing with out reloading missiles. We probably won't be able to, but. We'll get going. Um, gimbals and then missiles. And cherries and berries, man. Cherries and berries. Hmm. 
Valkyrie. Hurricane. Vanguard Warden. Valkyrie. Take on that hurricane first. Missiles away. Oh, I gotta ch change to my lead. Shields are down. All right. Disengage here. We all know how weak Akadi is. Once we lose shields, we are in danger. Alright, let's disengage here really quick. Get recharge these shields. And probably get some thrusters back. Man, I'm feeling that's weird. I'm putting a weird twist on my stick when I without intending. Alright, I get some thrust back. Some missiles at him. Splash. Cherries and berries. Oh, you seem pretty much dead. Splash. All right. Oh, yeah, we are definitely going to need to reload. go find a place to refill missiles or refill missiles all right well i couldn't really find a a uh, ground pad to refill my missiles the reason why i'm looking for ground pads to refill my missiles though is because i've been having shitty luck um trying to actually repair and reload at ports like they it just doesn't work but it seems like just before another like patch or whatever comes out, like 13.4 is going to burst. Sorry. Oh my God. 3.17.4 is uh, coming out uh, for IAE. Um, it seems like the current patch ends up taking a shit. So <laughs> I don't know why. That's just how it's, what's been going on. Oh, fuck you, you cutty. 
as I'm flying a cutty. Doing that. There we go. Man, this thing really. Whoa, what the fuck did I just nudge? This thing really is a monster. I'll try I'll try reloading my missiles at Grim Hex at our next before the next target. my missiles I will really want to get a good missile hit on them splash awesome man this thing is a monster I made a cutty into a demon. That's dope. All right, I'm gonna go land at Grim Hex. This should be a good one. Oh, sorry, you're gonna hear my shaker cup. Ah. Uh, oh well. Sorry. Needed a sip of G fuel. No, I'm not sponsored. I just like it. But G Fuel, if you if you if if you want if you want to, hit me up, man. <laughs> Is those whip? around man I'm getting kind of torn apart in this one come on That's not happening. We need to get one of these targets down. Got a surprise for ya. Where are 
No, no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. No bueno. I'm really feeling the, the mobility right now. Get some of this boost back. Get him. There we go. All right. Sorry about the, uh, about the, uh, missile bug. engine red so that's not good use the missiles as best as I can okay we need another one Side strafe a little bit. We're gonna try to send two volleys at him. That didn't work. Okay. I got three volleys of missiles left. This one I'm struggling. This this fucking belt does not want to die. There we go. All right. Launch two volleys of missiles and just go guns. Samurai. Falling missiles. The last volley missed. That a whole final volley missed. I actually think both of them missed.
Come on, we can get him though. Full cherries and berries, come on. There we go. Oh. Ooh, damn. How are we looking? My whole, uh, well, I don't see any like external scoring or nothing, but if we get out, we are blinking red. We do got some visible damage. Still a monster though. I feel like those bounties lat. Yeah, I feel like those bounties did a lot better than the last time. I uh, I tried bounty hunting the cuddy. That went a lot better. I made the cuddy into a an a missile boat monster. That is absolutely dope. But I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again. This will be my final upload until IAE. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank all of you. Man, I feel like I'm saying goodbye. I'll be back. Jesus. But I want to thank all of you for tuning in. And I will see you guys in a week. So, go ahead. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video on Around the Verse. Alrighty? Have a good one.